I haven't quite mastered my videoing, so here you go, everybody. Hi, everybody. My name is Peggy O'Connor. Uh, I've been watching videos. I love being able to put a face to the names that I see so often. Um, my Why did I decide to become a librarian? Um, my background is as an elementary teacher. I was graduated from college as an elementary teacher, got a job right away. I worked first grade for two years. I worked second grade for three years, and then I worked third grade for five years before I was lucky enough to be able to stay home to raise my son, Simon. Um, when he started school, I started subbing. I'll never forget my mother-in-law telling me, this is great, you can sub, but I'm like, why would I sub? I can teach, and then I started subbing, and I loved it. Uh, I was surprised by how much. I loved being in all the different classrooms. I knew every kid in the school. I was the sub who always had uh, books, and they always wanted to know what I was gonna be reading that day. Um, so I just really enjoyed it. I ended up doing three years long-term as in a second grade, um, and then I did two full-time um, years as a first grade teacher. Both those teachers were out having twins. So I worked five years full time. And then last year was the first year I was back to day to day subbing. An opportunity came up for a job back in the classroom. And I, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's not what I wanted to do. And when I talked to my local librarian and my family, um, I decided that I wanted to work in the school library. I think it's the perfect spot to. Um, be an asset to the classroom teacher to help them to incorporate curriculum, to integrate uh, lessons, and of course to um, introduce that love of literature to the students. So I'm really excited. I've been enjoying all the classes I've been in and learning about how to be a librarian. Favorite teachers. Um, I, mean, I had a whole list of my favorite teachers and I was like, why are all those my favorite teachers? What was it about them that they had in common? And one thing that came to me is that they were all really enthusiastic and you could tell they loved what they were doing. I think that's the key for whatever you do in life, to love what you're doing. If you love what you're doing, you're gonna be good at it and people are gonna remember you. Um, Mrs. Kittle was my chemistry teacher, Mr. Pettigrew, seventh grade social studies, and I think Miss Evans, my sixth grade math teacher, they all were so motivated by what they were doing and you could tell they enjoyed it. They could, You could tell they enjoyed teaching what they loved. And I think that makes you good at your job. So again, I think that's why library might be good for me. I love books, I love teaching, it's where I wanna be. Um, and the last thing I was gonna tell you, fun fact about me, um, I'm gonna put that into a PowerPoint for you to see some of my cool background that I think. Hope you'll enjoy. Be back later, bye. So my video is about my family. Um, I come from a big family, here they are. I'm one of 10. I'm the sixth one, here I am. Um, this one is my sister Kathy, there's only nine of us at that point. She was born on June 12th and um, RIT, the first 150 kids born on June 12th won scholarships, uh, it must have been their 150th anniversary or something. It was like $150, which back then was a big deal. And my sister Kathy won. My brother Nick is the artist. He made her this graduation cap, all this stuff. He's the one who actually takes all the pictures you'll see in this video. Um, so anyway, I'm one of 10. People find that quite fascinating. This is me growing up. I think I was like in third grade. Here I am now. This is my husband. Jay, and I'm looking for my son, Simon. He's here, there he is right there. Um, we, every summer, go to the Outer Banks and rent a house, three-story houses, highly recommend it. When we are at the Outer Banks, I am the organizer. Here are some things you see. I bring the puzzle table, and uh, it's a great gathering place. We all do the puzzles. Uh, yoga in the morning. I do not lead the yoga, but I participate. There's, this year, my brother, Brother Matt, he's the youngest. He actually has a year and a half Ellis. So she was doing yoga with us too. It was so fun. Every night a family takes on dinner. So you only have to cook once a week. It's great. This is my brother-in-law, Paul. He's uh, there doing skewers. It was awesome. This is the hardest puzzle we ever did. This is my son, Matt, Simon, when he was younger. Um, so anyway, we had to take a picture. Hardest puzzle ever. This Outer Banks, highly recommend it. This house we're in has two hot tubs. We got the adult hot tub and the kid hot tub. This is hors d'oeuvres before dinner. The other great thing about the beach house is talent show. We have, the houses are huge. We have a talent show every year. So here's some talent show signups. Seamus and Simon did riddles. 
This is my, my sister Mare's family doing a call me maybe lip sync. Hysterical. Here's another uh, scheduling. That's my handwriting this year. Um, it was Seamus's birthday. We had book club. I do book club every year. Um, we did a flash mob that year and then a talent show. This is again my son Simon. He was, uh, I don't know what he was doing. You can see some of the other cousins are already dressed for their talent show. And this is what it's like at the Outer Banks. This is our house right here. We don't always go to the same house, but this house we've been in for the last three years right now, I think. It's uh, right outside of Corolla, the northern part of the island. My husband Jay has somehow ended up being the camp setter up. You gotta be out there early. So he's out of the crack of dawn getting everything set up and saving our position. My brother Nick, the photographer that I told you about, he has a drone, so uh, he flies over and takes the pictures. It's the best vacation ever. So anyway, I think that's the interesting, fun fact about me. Big family, lots of fun. Um, I, that's all I gotta say. Thanks. Bye.